All right, folks, today we're diving into the world of Harley Davidson with some nice upgrades. We're going to make your bike look slick and organized with this Harley Tour Pack quick release mounting system. I'm telling you, it's like turning your bike into a lean, mean touring machine. So let's get started. We crack open that box and inside we've got all the pieces we need. It's like Christmas for motorcycle enthusiasts. Man, we've got the bracket kit and the wiring extension ready to go. We're going to piece together that tour pack bracket. Folks, it's like a little DIY project. And I'm not just talking about organizing your bike. We're about to unlock the true potential of your two-wheeled masterpiece. First things first, we got to prep the bike, take out the tour pack liner, and say goodbye to your seat for a bit. We're getting down and dirty, but it's all worth it. You know what they say, you're going to break some eggs to make a fine omelet. Life's all about sacrifices and transformations, just like when you're customizing that bike. Unplug those speakers, CB, and radio antenna. Those trusty parts have served you well, but guess what? It's time for a change. You're like the conductor of a symphony orchestrating the ultimate bike customization. All right, listen, you're going to want to yank those grommets out and thread those wires through. Then don't forget to pop those grommets right back in to seal the tour pack. Then show those tail lights and brake lights some love by disconnecting them. Ever since the cell phone came out, my CB radio hasn't seen much action. Times are changing and we adapt, right? Pull all those wires through like a pro. Now, unbolt that tour pack from the bracket. It's time to strip down your baby. Unbolt the chrome pieces and the big tour pack bracket. It's like motorcycle surgery here. Next, we're going to customize those chrome brackets. Get your drill ready and punch two one-inch holes in them for the brackets to pass through. Bolt those customized chrome brackets to the sides of the ride. Man, I'm telling you, ditching that bulky tour pack mounting bracket already gives the bike that sleek, streamlined look. I had to get some shorter bolts though, because the ones that came with the brackets were too long. You gotta get prepared for those wrenching adventures, my fellow riders. Now it's time to bring it all together. Place that pre-assembled tour pack bracket on the quick release studs and bend the sides of the bracket to match the width of those studs. It's like tailoring a suit for your bike. Line up the tour pack into the new quick release bracket and bolt it down. Now, I won't lie, this process can be a bit of a grind, but try to enjoy the journey. I had to grab some new nuts and bolts to make sure everything fit nice and snug. I used a wing nut to keep things locked up and loaded, so my tour pack didn't decide to go AWOL while I was getting everything lined up. Preparation is key. Check out this connector kit, but here's the deal. We'll only need this one piece. The CB radio is optional if you want to reconnect an, as an extension, but honestly, I don't use mine. Just connect the tail light extension wire inside the tour pack for now, because we're going to tuck that liner in. We didn't even bother bolting the CBN 10 in. Now, liner in, we're looking good and clean, folks. Now, look at this beauty. It's starting to resemble a classic Harley we all know and love. It's gearing up for those epic long trips or maybe another motorcycle camping adventure. Now, the tricky part. We're going to install, bend, and adjust those brackets to make sure they fit on the quick release studs just right. It's a bit of a puzzle, but once it's done, it's worth the trouble. Make sure all the brackets for the Harley-Davidson saddlebags are lined up perfectly so those connector pins just slide into place like magic. Throw those saddlebags on and admire your handiwork. 
It's like adding wings to your bike. Now, time to clean up those wires. Tuck them away neatly under the seat, and here's a little bonus for you. Slide in that AM FM antenna under the seat. It's like giving your bike an extra dose of style. Now, some folks prefer to relocate the antenna to the saddlebags or the rear fender, but I went for the cleaner and simpler approach. It's all about that personal preference. We're just putting the finishing touches on this. I can practically smell the exhaust fumes as I roll out of the garage. Slide your seat back on the final piece of the puzzle. So, with this ultra classic, or should I say street glide transformation, what kind of epic adventures can we embark on? Hmm. But hold on, there's one last thing. We had to relocate the license plate. I like mine low, it gives it that sleek look with that rounded fender. It's all about the details. Now, the whole debate about putting the plate up high or low. Well, it's entirely up to you. It's all about your style. They even make a license plate mount that screws right into the tail light bar. I thought the curved one added a nice touch though. Good times ahead, my fellow riders. I also sprayed some anti-corrosion magic to keep those new holes from rusting because we want to keep this beauty pristine for a long time. Listen up, when you're in a garage doing a repair or an upgrade, it's best not to rush. Keep it at a steady pace and get into the flow. It's not just about getting the job done, it's also a way to escape from the world's problems. Now, we've transformed your bike into a touring beast, so hop on, Take her for a spin and see how she handles. It's like a whole new ride. Enjoy the road and stay safe out there. I think another thing that's going to be cool is the rest for my wife to ride. And then when she's not riding, I can just pop it off. The things that I really noticed that has made a difference with the tour pack off is the reversing. It seems easier to reverse, a little more stable, or it's not pushing you over as much. Just a little bit, a little bit more nimble, I think. <laughs>